This song is by Dan Price. Oh, Dan Price featuring Karif. Dan Price, you know, back in uh, Karif. Let's support our youth, right? Yes. Okay, hello viewers and listeners, lovely viewers. Today is very beautiful in New York City. The sun is shining. I think this is a little bit cooler. Tomorrow is going to be warmer, but today it's on point. It's very fine. And I know that Ghana is always, you know, a hot climate. It's not here and there, some rainy and one or two. But today we are going to have one of the best the master glass blower the exactly. master glass blower yeah. in west africa in west and africa. he's from no other place i'm telling you from the dangbe land from the gandangbe land and this man has been in his, uh, in his one corner one corner so one corner mainly <laughs> his business no wahala cool and collected but today we are all going to get to know him. Okay. So today my broken English, I feel like speaking broken English today. So yes, today yes. I will do my broken English here and there. So my okay. listeners and followers, please bear with me. Today I feel like speaking broken English. How about that? This is Key Mama Show. And Key Mama Show, I can speak whichever language that I prefer because I have the key. But before we start, let me share my screen with you for you to have an idea, the type of person, Mr. Michael Tetter over here. I'm just going to give you a brief background of him. So let me share my screen with you. Here we are, Mr. Uh... My name is Makatete, Mr. Makatete, and I'm a professional glass blower from Eastern Region, Odumasa Probo. What me something beautiful? That's this. seen the wonderful work of Mr. Michael, Mr. Michael Tete right here. Mr. Michael Tete. Yes, man. Hello. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. 
Okay, beautiful. So now we have, you know, showcased some of your work, yep. your glass work. Now tell us, how did you get this all started? Okay. So tell us a story. We are here to listen because okay. I have already previewed uh, okay. the process of the glass blowing and you are one of the top most glass blower in West Africa. How did yeah. you start it? Where did you attend to school? Is someone in your family was in this uh, kind of business before you joined? How was it? Make you make a bomb or make you, you know, make some spice it up if you can hear me. Avoid the noise. Don't worry about the noise at your background. You go okay. manage that. Okay, thank you. Um, you are welcome to Ghana. I'm, I'm speaking from Ghana. Uh, in the Eastern region of the Mosul Club, as I said. And um, first of all, I'm, I'm a professional glass bead maker. I make glass beads. Yes, the glass bead from waste bottle. So I started making beads in uh, uh, 1998. So in a timeline, I went to apprenticeship for the bead making. Four years. And then after I completed, and then um, there is a scholarship from Netherlands. And um, the man came and gave me the scholarship to go and learn glass blowing. So I, it took me only two weeks to learn a glass blowing. But it's very, very impossible. But because of I am a, a professional glass bead maker, and then I know I've, I have already been in a, in a glass work already. The local fellows, you know, you know the piece, the piece that you wear in your hands. We we will make it. Yes, yes, yes. I know. I, I know how to do all these things. So uh, I went to Netherlands and learned a glass in two weeks. I came back, continue my bead making job. Then I have in mind that this glass blowing, I didn't see anybody blowing glass in, in West Africa. Uh, I went to Cape Coast. That's the science university. And I went to uh, Kumase, Kwame Kuma, uh, Science and Technology. I went there, I, I checked that, are they blowing glass there? But none of them is blowing glass. I found one in, uh, another one in uh, Cape Coast. They are doing scientific, scientific one. It is not uh, the art and craft. Right. I am doing, yes, art, art and craft. So uh, I joined, glass blowing in uh, 2012 by god grace the dutch government gave me some uh, some uh, support they bought the machines that i'll be able to make the glass and then the rest i i, I did it myself all the furnace that you are seeing that i'm blowing i didn't buy them from europe or let's say like us no i I have the torch, the blower that can mix the oxygen nice, and then the rest I did it myself. And I was doing this job for let's say eight years now. Okay. In, in a timeline, 2014, I had also a scholarship to go to France and learn that glass blowing. So when I came, then I can be able to establish myself more. So in Ghana now, I am the top uh, West Africa. Yeah, I am the top guy who is here making a lot of uh, wonderful pieces that are from recycled bottles. You see, in Ghana now, uh, a lot of glasses that are throwing or that are dumped in a in a in a in a, in a land, landfill, they are there. Nobody is using them. They were recycling all rubbers, all kind of. Uh, 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 material like 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 uh, sachet water, metals, but glass after glass alone, it's very hard for us to let's say recycle it. But our people in Krobo they also do a few things like bead making. They also consume a lot of uh, waste glass. But in Ghana, I am the only guy that has developed this kind of uh, this kind of. Uh, glass blue system that we can be able to produce more and also use a lot of waste in a, in a glass. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So uh, in, since you are the only one in West Africa now that you are a glass blower, uh, blower. you are yeah. a glass blower currently. Yeah. In West Africa. In West Africa. Um, and you said you collect uh, bottles, recycled yes, bottles. bottles. Yes, yes, and uh, also from... window glasses. So in this case, is it in a large scale? How did you collect the glasses? Do you have a warehouse? You have a company that people can bring it. Those who collect the glasses and uh, give it to you, do you buy it from them? Because I remember years ago, we have something called Koliba. They will yeah. come and buy bottles, then they will go and sell it to different uh, yeah. company or people. Is it the same yes. thing you do, or you have volunteers who across greater Accra region and beyond who ship you bottles? How do you That's, receive this material? Yeah, the same, the same, because uh, we have the uh, we have some ladies in our area. They go Accra, and they were able to go around around the shops and also uh, uh, industrial areas where they are selling the cup glasses, window glasses and bottles. And they bring them to Koforidua Jassim Park. Koforidua Jassim Park. Now they are at Galaway. So we go there and buy the bottles, including the bead makers and, and myself. And I also have a company uh, that uh, they gather the bottle for me. The the color bottle from uh, restaurants from in Accra, and they dump it at uh, they dump it at uh, uh, arena boxing arena. Do you know about Accra? Yeah, yeah. And the way yes, if you are going to Kolibu, yeah, yes. Over the they gather the bottles for me, and I I rent a truck and then I buy them to my my place. So I also have some ladies that they are there in my place. They come and they wash them nicely. We process it before we can be able to use. Oh, okay. So when you go to Arena, they sell it for you over there? Or yes. they, don't, they sell it? No, no, they sell, yes. Oh, they sell yes, it. So that is yes. your main uh, storage base before yes. you transport it to uh, your my location. Place. Okay. Yes. So do you have like a company because I see that you were you have all this fire and stuff going on. Is it a bigger place or a smaller? I haven't been there. That's why I wanted to picture how uh, your, the size of your um, glass blowing wet shop is. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's, I did it in such a way that it's a tempera. I make it with a nice, a nice wooden, uh, wooden structure, so that I can be able to uh, compile or gather all those materials that I need equipment. But in mind, I have a place on the way to Akosombo, around somewhere, somewhere uh, Akuse Junction. Do you know Akuse Junction? Yes, we have yes, a heard. land there. That yes, Akuse Junction. On the, on the way on the, on, the, on the highway so right now we have did we have done everything that uh, probably from either middle of this year or next year we can be able to start something there because here is a small place for me and um, uh, people were trying to come to learn also to have the experience of what I'm doing here so that it can be like we are, we are bringing glass and only me but I want to teach the young Ghanaians, young ladies, young men that they, they can be able to acquire that as their talent, as their job. So right now I'm in a place where it's really, very, very, very small, but it's a, temp it's a temporary place. Okay. So yeah. uh, this uh, glass blowing, yeah. and you do beats and everything, and it's yeah. also it's an uh, it's a tourism that people can yes, come uh, uh, and they, observe. They are okay so yeah. do you have a relationship with tourism that they also promote your workshop on their calendar on the visitors that comes over to ghana to see your work or you have tourism or the schools that's come on excursion to see yeah. your work do you have yeah. i have 
uh, I I have uh, the manager the right now the president for Ghana Tourism. Ghana Tourism, we call it Tuga. He's bringing a lot of people to the site for the for me to blow the glass for them for experience and also um, GTV. Sometimes they bring people and they follow them, like the kids, young kids from five years up to fifteen years. They are bringing them for me to give them a lecture on it so that fix your camera they, for me. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, so that they can be able to know that something happened in Ghana, not only Kakum, not only uh, uh, a Bri Botanical Garden, or let's say like uh, 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 Armenia only, no. But this work, when, we can, when you see it, it's, uh, it's attached to Ghana tourism, it, it's attached to tourists, it, it attracts a lot of tourists more. Right, right, right. So I am glad to hear that you are in works with the tourism board. Yes. At the same time, is there any way that you have some funding from the government? Because Ghana, you go, you get your funding for as a person like you and the only one yes. in West Africa. Do you have some support funding from the government to boost you up to make it bigger? No, um, I started this uh, this kind of uh, proposal. It's a proposal la, uh, during the during the President Muhammad time. There is a call out that young young Ghanaians that are in vision they want to do something. They have they have, a, they have a, a vision to to do something. They should bring their proposal business ideas so that they can be able to support. But I went, we did a very nice proposal and they called me for uh, the shortlist, the interview, the panel, the, 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 uh, the panel discussion. Along the line, they rejected everything. They, they give the money to those who are selling small, 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 small items. But, and for what I'm doing, for them to know that I'm doing something, the, the visit that I'm doing that time, I, I sent, a lot, I send some to them so that they can be able to at least see that, not that I am starting, but I have just taken a, a step. Mm -hmm. I've taken a step. So if they can help me, then we can grow Ghana. Not only me, I can teach anybody. I tried, they, they couldn't help me. And la, uh, last year too, we did some, we did some uh, proposal. That one, the, it threw, uh, through uh, uh, Ministry of Trade and Industry. They bring up, they bring those proposals and we were, I, I was able to, to fill everything. But we are waiting for them as of now, we didn't hear from them. So it has been like a year. It's, it's almost, yes, that one is just, just about a year. But the Dromama time, that one has passed already. It has passed already. Uh, and also because of, uh, uh, GTV were able. G, GTV was able to come to my place and they did the documentary. The, that documentary, I didn't send it to you. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you maybe later. Right now, Ghanaians, ministers, president, MPs, they know that this guy is doing something here because he's on uh, YouTube. Anywhere right. you go, yes, anywhere you go in this way, you, ta you tackle uh, Glassboro in Ghana. Or in West Africa, you only see me, and they know that something is happening. But they they wanted to close their ear, they want to close their their eyes from it. But all the same, I'm I'm pushing. I didn't want to relax. I'm pushing up. Yeah. So you you feel some sort of uh, disappointment. Exactly. That, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Upon all what you're doing, you haven't been getting help. And uh, uh, if, uh, like I said, uh, tourism is, is knows what you're doing and uh, they are involved and they bring tourists over, uh, yeah. what are they also doing to step in for you to be the voice? Has someone approached you from that angle too? Yeah, they are, they are, they, they themselves too, uh, one time, let's say middle of middle middle of last year, 
I contacted the president. And there is a fund for them for them to, to develop their because it's like Ghana tourism, because of we don't create new new ideas, new attractive places, it's always uh, it's always uh, the a brief Botina Garden, a Kumase uh, walkway, uh, Elimina Castle, Cape Coast, and those those areas. So they are also they said he said he they, they, they themselves they need support. But if I am able to do something like I can create something for for my own, then they can bring the tourists so that they can be able to pay some small small money. So, okay. so I didn't before we continue, it. yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm very saddened with this, you know, news I'm hearing. But uh, uh, for those who just join us, I would like to show the works of uh, Mr. Michael Tete once again. Before, if I have any comment, anything to add it, so you understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. My name is Michael Tete, Mr. Michael Tete, and I'm a professional glass blower. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to stop it here, uh, so we we'll continue our conversation. At least the viewers have had an idea what the glass blower does, and some this is some of the end products. This is some of the end products that you can see from the screen. This is some of the end products, and uh, let me scroll it down and show you different type of the end products of uh, what uh, he does. These are some of the products that uh, Mr. Michael Tecton, the whole West Africa, the whole West Africa. I think he did, this is part of uh, something that no, you started. No, 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 no. At, 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 at the time when I wanted to post it, and then this one came. Okay, okay. This, this okay. was for just for the agreement. Okay, people. so that's what I'm wondering. Okay, yes. so, and this is some of the products. So this is very, very good investment that we can have an exhibit, a place yeah. that he can go, you know, a place yeah. that tourism can take over this and put different shapes, different uh, styles. Let me use, I don't know the glass blowing terminology well. But to showcase this product, the whole West Africa. Yes. We have this treasure in Ghana land. Uh, and he is struggling to, to, to help. I, I, you know, I don't want to get use my emotions in this situation, but I'm very, very upset. I am upset. 
because we are encouraging our youth to learn the vocational skills, yeah. to stay off the street. Hearing from this professional saying that I'm struggling to get help, I put in proposal and it's like bounce back on my face. How can you encourage or people see this as a way of earning some income, learning their handiwork to learn some income? I'm disappointed. I am because a whole West African, the whole West okay. Africa, glass yeah, blue, sure. and kind of struggling now to find a space. No. So anyone who is hearing us at this moment and have the lead and the support that can help Mr. Michael Tete to expand, to yeah. also help the youth that is coming up. So exactly. this vision, this dream, this treasure will not die. I will say we all should help him. We all should help him make this big because we are talking about West Africa. Exactly. We are not talking about Greater Accra region. Yeah. We are not talking about Gandangbe land. We uh -huh. are not talking about just Ghana, but exactly. we are talking about West Africa. I think the government have to step up. I don't hear what is happening on the grounds at this moment. You have put in, this will bring, generate and attract tourism and it will generate income. So something that generates income or generate funds, you invest in it. I think at this moment, I don't know what's taking, but I'm feeling that he need investors to make this bigger. Am I right or wrong, Mr. Michael Tete? You are right. You are perfectly right. So you need an investor to make this uh, business bigger and better. If I may yeah. ask, apart from uh, where you went to learn the glass glory, have you yeah. traveled to any other countries to showcase your product or to showcase your work? Um, because right now I tackle what I'm doing now in Ghana, a lot of my first, my buyers are the white because there is a place in uh, in Accra in a uh, uh, cantonment very close to America. Amazon. Yes, I sell my product there, and also I sell to Togo. Togo, they have a, a craft uh, a craft center there. They invite me, and then I did the exhibition. And also a lady in the Ivory Coast, she also came to across me, and I've been sending him her the pieces. So she also sells some of the products at, at the Ivory Coast, but not, not in the uh, in US, not in in, uh, in just in Europe, not here. Oh yeah, okay. So viewers and listeners, once again, wherever that you are in this world and you're listening to us and you're watching us, we need an investors. We need an exhibitors. People will come and help to showcase his talent, his product, wherever that you are. If you have any contact, if you contact me, you will get it. You can also, by the end of our uh, conversation, he will also put his number out there that you can contact. He needed uh, the whole West Africa. And he's kind of struggling. No, 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 no. This is uncalled for. This needs to change. This is a big error. This I'm, I'm, I'm pleading on his behalf because hearing and the struggle and he's turned up in West Africa. Oh my gosh, Africa, Africa. Please let's help our brother to blow up and blow bigger and bigger uh, bottles bigger decoration uh, vases that we use to showcase. I hope that this year, you we also have a Ghana Fest coming up August 13. Okay. Anyone who has a talent, I say, hey, you're welcome to come and showcase your product. Okay. And this will be one of the good products and uh, showcase and tell your story. Maybe okay. you come across someone who will help you to stand up 
like I'm helping to showcase you now, someone also will come in and take you further up. That is okay. how we get to promote ourselves. Okay. So before we, we leave, I want you to give your closing remarks. Okay. This year, because I, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to get too emotional in this situation because we sit here or we sat here all the time and we encourage the youth go and learn some skills, go learn some skills. But if you learn the skills and you're not getting support to take you where you can earn an income, it's so disappointing. So this program or you taking the time to come here and being honest, some people try to you know polish it up, but you being honest that this is the challenges you are facing, I really, really appreciate it. Now, what message do you want to send across to the youth that watch you? And also for those you have sent your proposal out and still yeah. waiting to have a response, what are the yeah. messages? Thank you, thank you so much, madam. And um, I'm very, very, very happy that uh, my friend, uh, Mr. Oparitete, he, he knows me very well. And if you know what I can do, and um, through through him, I, I can let's say I contact you now. And then I said to him, if you somebody somebody is climbing a tree to pluck a papaya or to pluck an, an apple, and the tree is so long, and you the one that you are pushing the person, you are also going higher. But if if you are pulling the person down, you are also going down. So if um, the hearers, the friends can hear my voice and they can see that I'm doing a good job, not for only Ghana, not for uh, only for Kobos, but for across the, across the Africa, let's say right. West Africa. And we, I'm not a selfish, uh, I'm not a selfish man. I want to right. train everybody, yes. Right. I want to train everybody that wanted to come and learn. Because in life we came and we are where we go somewhere. So one day if this vision, this talent, and and I leave it, I leave it down, it's all gone. But if I can raise it and they can support me, and then it will be it will be like a mountain. It will stand. People, even when I grow old and, and I didn't work again, that factory will still exist and they will work to date. So I need I need your support uh, from from every right now. What I want to do is and because of the equipment, they are so very expensive in Europe in in US. So I can't afford to buy equipment. But what I do is I do a lot of research. And I learn from the research. If I did any 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 experiment and I, I, I fail, I didn't stop it. I continue, and that's what helped me to blow glass. Because we were three when we went to Netherlands to learn the glass bubble. Some of them said we can't do it in Ghana. We don't have the facilities. We don't have anything. We don't have all those. Things. I said we can do. But finally, they said, okay, let, let me they will continue in their bid making. But I said, no, I'll bring this vision here in Ghana. And after that, because of I didn't relax, I didn't hear anybody, uh, anybody uh, strategy of pulling me down. I didn't hear it. I, I have a vision of what I'm doing. And I hope uh, with you, we can, we, can, we can do it, not me alone. Okay. So right now, uh, the factory, let's say the studio that we need to establish proper, for the tourists, for the people of Ghana, students that completed uh, university, SSS, they can come in and acquire that knowledge. There's a lot of things that I want to do with, with this glass, but the space is not helping me to do. So if, uh, if um, there is a chance and you can give me that chance, I think we can work on it. Okay, so uh, from listening to you, that means now you need equipment. And that is the reason why you send your proposal out 
to for to the government to get some funds to buy okay. the equipment. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. And, so and also now, the main thing, the main thing is the structure. The structure because right now I, I'm able to develop some of the equipment that I'm using for my own. Right. Locally. They, they are locally. Okay, wow. But after the equipment have, have been uh, yeah. So if, if we were able to get a structure, I think most of the equipment we're gonna we can we we we're gonna apply them. But without the without the, the structure, the proper uh, the proper proper uh, factory, we can't be able to, to buy any equipment in. Oh, okay. okay. So first what I'm I'm aiming, what I'm planning for now is for the structure. Okay. Can you speak that uh, that plea in the Dangbe language? Yeah. Uh, say it in the Dangbe language, pleading with our people to help you in a way, because so we change the dialects. Because now okay. we're trying to raise funds to help what you're doing, and we okay. don't want it to go to waste. Okay. You, in your name, glass <laughs> Yes, thank you very much. And, you know, I was so touched. I was so emotional. I even want to cry because I wish I have the means to, you know, but, but this small way that I'm supporting, I'll do my best. Right. voice it out to the public share it and i know that people that are watching us at this moment or anyone who come across this video will also share because we can't let someone one glass blower in west africa and you struggling mm. wow that that that's that's heartbreaking but don't give up. Like you say, you never gave up. Three oh. or four, uh, you went to Netherlands to do it. You never gave up and you're still pursuing your dream. And your dream will definitely come true. Nothing will go to waste. And I hope you also have faith. I'd like to thank you very much for coming. But before you leave, do you want to share your phone number, your contact? to uh, our listeners or viewers to um, contact you for any yeah. help, or maybe someone want to order some of your products. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are having technical glitches, and this is very, very um, vital. So we need a number. Yeah, yeah, network. My number. If anybody wants to get in touch with me. Yeah, your system. Can you please uh, uh leave and come back? Does, can you please um, uh leave and come back? So, uh, I think you should uh yeah, come back, uh sign out and sign back in because we can hear you. Okay, now better. I can go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. What's so, your number again? Yeah, so my number is Ikana number. Yes. From zero two zero. Yes. Zero two zero. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what else? That's and, also, all? and also, um, I have an email. If if someone wants, email, email, email. Okay. Email address, email. Okay. Uh, so you email send address. everything to me, uh, and I'll my add it to the YouTube video. Okay. Yeah. Once yeah. you send it to me, yeah, yeah, then yeah, I will yeah. add it properly. The phone number and the email. I'd like okay, to thank okay. you very much and keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. Your dream will come true. God bless you. God bless you. Please, I'd like to make an announcement. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'd like to make an announcement. We are supposed to have a health walk this coming Saturday, which is March 19. But due to the weather, weather, weather situation, we have to postpone to uh, April 2nd. So any inconvenience, but April 2nd, we'll be able to do our health walk 2022. Thank you. And thank you all very much. And follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Key Mama Show. And all this video, that interview conversation that we do, we post it there later. God bless you. And follow me also on TikTok. Thank you very much.